Now, let's turn our attention to Taraba State in northeast Nigeria, where there's been a rather disturbing development. Police spokesperson Frank Mba had, in the course of the week, released a statement explaining how three police operatives and a civilian were killed by soldiers in that state. According to Mba, the policemen came under attack from soldiers while taking an arrested kidnapped suspect, Hamisu Wadume, to the command headquarters in Jalingo. Mba said the men were shot several times, despite sufficient proof that they are police personnel on legitimate duty, and thereafter released the handcuffed suspect. Of course, the army also came out to defend itself, saying the policemen were killed in error because uh, they were mistaken for kidnappers. But the army's explanation has several loopholes and raises a lot of questions, some of which, of course, a follow-up statement from the police spokesperson clearly identified. Now, the president has ordered a comprehensive investigation into the incident, and we hope, we very much hope, that investigation unravels the truth, the whole truth. But let me just say this. Not only is the incident sad, it is quite heartbreaking that these policemen, who the police hierarchy has described as some of the best police officers of this country, would die in such a manner and under that kind of circumstance. The incident also raises a very serious question over whether there's any form of collaboration among our security agencies. Nigeria is dealing with a very serious security challenge, and if there's no mutual trust among the country's security agencies, then we are all doomed. It's just as bad as that. Whether we admit it or not, this very incident has dealt a very devastating blow to whatever mutual trust and cooperation there was between the army and the police. It's the reason why that investigation ordered by the president is so important and must be treated so. If anyone is eventually found culpable for this incident, then that person or persons, no matter how highly or lowly placed, must be brought to justice swiftly. It is the very least the president and this country owe to the dead police officers and their loved ones. Anything less would be a dishonor to the dead. And one more thing, that notorious kidnapped kingpin, Hamisu Wadume, has to be brought to justice as well. We're waiting and we're watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.